Hello to staff on our DME wards at Addenbrooke's. My name's Natalie Ellis and I am Head of Arts at Cambridge University Hospitals and um, usually we're, we are running um, events and, and activities and projects um, physically on wards but at the moment we, we, we can't. So I'm sending you this video message to talk you through and explain um, a new creative resource that will be coming to your ward very soon. Um, the resource is here. It is made by the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge. The Fitzwilliam um, have been working up until the pandemic on Ward G3 and are running um, physical workshops with patients, sessions that would help them to find enjoyment and relaxation through looking slowly at a painting and having conversation and, and, and um, finding inspiration for movement from 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 that piece of artwork and it was it was going really well we've got that on pause at the moment until we're able to come back in so in the meantime i'm just here to tell you a little bit more about these which are lovely well uh well printed um laminated a3 sheets so you can wipe them down after each use and um it is a famous painting that is um displayed at the Fitzwilliam. I've got five of them and it guides people and patients through the process of slow looking. So if you've never had a, uh, had a go before, I really would. It's, it's, it's amazing what you notice um, that you wouldn't normally notice if you just take a little bit more time to look at something. So um, it starts with telling you something about the painting, who made it, and then it moves on to, sh to help you to notice lots of de details about about the painting and finally to imagine what might be happening maybe how it might feel to be in that scene um, these activities work really well for patients who uh, are maybe anxious or disorientated and, and confused and um, need something that will help them relax and find some calm this this is a really great way of encouraging people um, to just escape where they are emotionally at that point in time uh, towards something that's a little bit more creative and, and positive. So these work fine if, if a patient wants to do it independently and you feel that that's um, within their capabilities then great they can be given this if you explain to them that it's made by the Fitzwilliam Museum and this is displayed there and to follow and be guided by the text that will set them up nicely. But if um, you want, and this works particularly well, you can use this as a way of having a conversation and an interaction with a patient that might be a little bit different to what you would normally um, normally do. Uh, so, yeah, we would love to know what, um, what you and what your patients make of it and what the experience is like. I think you might be pleasantly surprised, um, certainly when we've done these, it is incredible to get the responses from patients, particularly to this one, the Imagine one. Um, so many vivid imaginations and, and really quite insightful comments will, will probably come out. So we would love to, to hear those. If you're able to just jot them down and send them to Lani, then Lani can pass them back to us and we can send them to the Fitzwilliam um, who can make more of these um, that can come to your wards. So I really hope that you enjoy them. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching this video and for taking the time. And um, I'll hopefully see you in person really soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye.